Here's how to create a single action from multiple Mixamo actions and embed cloth simulations for Unreal Engine using Blender. Export a sick dance move with skin at 24 frames per second. Download two more dance moves without skins. Import the FBX file with skin and set up your animation workspace. Set the upper left to Nonlinear Animation or NLA. Set the timeline as an action editor and pull up another timeline under it. Now open the outliner and rename the armature actions and all of the meshes with unique identifiers. It's important because Unreal Engine needs unique names or it will get confused when using multiple models in the same project. Import the rest of your dance moves and be sure animation is checked on. Rename the armatures and the actions with a unique name. You will see the action name change is reflected in your NLA editor. Move the armatures off to the side. You can delete them because their actions will remain in the project. In the NLA editor, push down the action to become an NLA strip. Press N to open the NLA Strip Editor. Hover over the NLA name and press Shift-A to make a new NLA strip. Hover over the blank space on the track and hit Shift-A again to select one of the other actions. Repeat this for your third action. You can move the strips around just like any time-based block editor. Overlap the NLA tracks and we will blend them together. You'll see that nothing happens on the second and third action because the action above it has a hold applied. Select the top action and select nothing. Now drag the blend out value and see the linear blend created. Repeat this again for the other two actions. Let's see the T pose for the clothing you're going to simulate. Move all the NLA strips to start at frame 20. Select the armature and go to Pose Mode. Hit I and create a single keyframe for location, rotation, and scale. This creates a single keyframe in the NLA editor. Shift A for a new NLA track and push down as an NLA strip. This blends the T-Pose into the dance allowing the clothing to begin simulation. Make the entire animation into a single NLA strip by selecting all the strips, select the object menu, animation, bake action. Be sure pose and object are selected and overwrite current action are checked on with uncheck only selected bones off. Now you'll see a new action that you can push down into an NLA strip. Delete the other strips because your new NLA contains all actions together. Be aware, however, that this method is destructive. Now rename that action and delete the other actions in the outliner. You should have only one action and one armature left. If you're ready a Clo Pro, then export the shirt, pants, and coat separately. Import the coat and scale it to fit. Select the armature, then the coat. Go to Weight Paint. Transfer weights and be sure object transform is checked. Source layer is by name. You need to do this for the pants and the shirt later. Select the coat, then the armature, and parent with armature deform. Your coat should follow the armature. Select the coat mesh and edit mode. And select a region of both shoulders. These will be pinned and will not cloth simulate although they will deform to the armature. This is so the coat stays on his shoulders. Go to vertices and create a new vertex group called pinning. Now select the coat in object mode and go to the physics tab. Hit cloth for the simulation. Select the armature and select collision. Select the coat again and use these parameters for your cloth simulation.
the pressure setting creates a little bit of wind lifting the coat off his back. Cache is where you control the simulation. Set 40 frames for simulation to test things out and then make that longer once you know it works. Shape is the pinning vertex group you just made. Self-collision distance should be low. Next, create a solidify modifier. and offset to 1. This bumps the clothing off the armature a little bit. Go back to physics and bake all dynamics. Hit play and see if it simulates. It will work up until 40 frames. If it doesn't work well, then delete all bakes and scale up your entire model and try it again. Now, add the pants and the shirt. Clothe that beast. You will need to parent them to the armature, but if you don't weight paint first, it won't work. So, select the armature first, then the pants, and go to weight paint. Transfer weights and source layer is by name, with object transform checked on. Select the pants, then the armature, and parent with armature to form. You should follow the armature. Repeat for the shirt. If they overlap funny, use a sculpt mode brush to pull them off the body bit. Figure out where your end frame is and delete all bakes in the physics tab. Set your duration for the entire animation. Export an Alembic file. Set scale to 100 and base sets is checked on. Import your Olympic file and make sure all the material layers are checked on. Import type is set to Geometry Cache and Flatten Tracks is checked off. Make sure your conversion preset is set to Autodesk 3ds Max. Your model and all textures should come in. Place your model in a scene and set up your workspace so you can see the details pane and the content drawer. Now, make a new material for each texture. Some of mine are a solid color. Open the blueprint and add a vector parameter. Change the hue and values, then plug it into the base color. Hit save, and let's reconnect the materials. Each slot is assigned, however, you'll need to figure out which is for hair, skin, eyes, eyebrows, etc., depending on your model. Select the material and click the arrow under the material slot, or select from the drop-down menu. Create a new sequence and drag in your Alembic from the Outliner. Create a Geometry Cache Component Track. Now, hit play and make your player dance. 